Uh, so the whole relationship of the arts and civic engagement, um, a wonderful topic. First, I'd, I'd like to say I look at our field um, very comparable to feminism. And just as people in any discipline could foreground their feminism um, after the 70s, certainly that wave of feminism, in a way that had been more difficult before you could have feminist historians and feminist psychologists, et cetera. Given the um, movement um, at this moment in engaged scholarship and art, we in the arts can more foreground our engagement and people in other disciplines can foreground their engagement. So I don't want to act like I think the arts are the only um, discipline, the only field that has a strong and important um, engagement thrust. I think the work is important precisely because we come at it from so many different sectors. Artists who want to build a more civically engaged praxis, I think, need to be very um, thoughtful about what that means because it, invari it means many things. There are many ways to do it, but it invariably means working with other skills and other craft in addition to artistic skills and craft. For example, I don't know anyone who does engaged artistic work who isn't something of a community organizer um, or a social worker, which used to be like, oh, oh my God, I'm being accused of being a social worker. Well, guess what? You better be partly a social worker, someone who knows how to find resources and cares about people and wants to be with people in a lot of different situations. So one thing, make sure you really want to do that. Um, if, if, if that would be part of my advice, then I would say um, use your critical thinking skills and over time, after you've tried a couple of things, see where you could position yourself. Um, is this a good moment? You know, do you care about working with older people? Are you drawn to working with older people? And do you see a way to build a life for yourself, a professional life for yourself in a context with older people? Um, do you find some opening in higher ed where you can bring that into a department that is enough in the 21st century to recognize that engaged theater, in this case, can be part of the whole um, uh, of the whole arc of what we do when we do theater. So that's what I would say as an other, uh, another piece of advice. I thought that if I chose theater as a life path, that meant I'd get to do everything because plays, which is what I used to think theater was, just plays. I didn't know that there was a lot more to theater than plays. Um, that Because plays are about everything and people in every situation but I found theater people pretty much hanging out with other theater people and that it's true the life's so short, the craft's so long to learn, I understand why people spend so much time training, but I wanted a life in the theater that put me in touch with people in many situations and in an active way where the work we were doing might contribute to something um, in their lives that needed attending to. Um, given, um, I, would like to, I would like to add one thing, knowing this is for the ATHA, um, website. Um, first, it's so thrilling to me that ATHA recognizes community-based theater, engagement, that's even part of the name of this conference. It's an award now that's been around a few years because I come of age at a time where you were really taking a risk. If you were working in higher ed and you weren't in the educational theater department, if you were in a regular theater department as I was for many years, and you did this kind of work. It was not seen as part of the whole arc of what one can do with art. And I know there are many places where it still isn't, but that's, um, it's, it's really changed um, in the last 30 or 40 years. Um, and that's fantastic, and it's wonderful to see what AFA as an institution has done to contribute to it. And it's partly some of the really brilliant leadership. I know it's institutions are only as good as the individuals that are a part of them, but nevertheless, there's a kind of institutional um, legitimacy that happens, and AFA is really contributing a lot to our field by recognizing that this is part of what it means to be a theater person. So thank you, AFA.